Back on the show is Devin Clark, who's got a big fight coming up here against Josh Steensbury at the Ultimate Fighter Season 24 finale on December 3rd. Devin, how's it going? It's going great. Awesome. Good to hear. Good to hear. And uh, I got to mention, uh, you've been training at uh, Greg Jackson's for this camp. Uh, I know you've been training there in the past as well, too. Uh, how long have you been at Jackson's for this camp? Um, It's been just a couple weeks now. You know, uh, I took the fight on a five weeks notice, so came down here as soon as I could. And, and has it been tough, you know, being away from your family and everything else, especially with Thanksgiving coming up? Uh, yeah, it's always tough, but, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be worth it in the long run. So I'm just going to keep training hard and do what I do. And, and the one thing I hear about people who train at Jackson's is, you know, it's, it's like a big family over there. Even though it is so big, you guys are all really sort of on the same page. Uh, who are some of the people you've kind of really developed uh, close friendships with over there? Um, well, John, of course, and then uh, Ben Reeder, he's, uh, he's got a fight coming up for Bellator as well. And so, you know, we've been kind of plugging along and hanging out a lot and doing a lot of stuff together. So, um, and you know, everybody's real supportive. We're all just kind of helping each other. Absolutely. And you mentioned John, uh, that is John Jones. Um, obviously he's, he's been in the news, uh, you know, for not, for not the right reasons, uh, you know, obviously yeah. with, the, with the failed drug test and everything. Um, how's John doing? You know, you're a good friend of his is, is you know, how's he sort of keeping things positive? Um, you know, he just, he stays himself and he's, uh, you know, he doesn't let it get to him negatively and he just stays positive and, you know, he's a good guy to be around, good mentor. So, you know, I take, uh, take all the positives out of it and, you know, it's, uh, it's a good deal. So. Excellent. And how much of an influence has he been on you, not just for this camp, but in general as a fighter? Um, since he came about, you know, since he won the, his first title, I've always looked up to him. He was the youngest to do it. And, uh, you know, I always wanted to, um, you know, before I even knew him, I was like, I want to be better than him. So really uh, gave me a lot of drive just watching him and seeing what he's accomplished. And I'm sure you learn a lot because the one thing with John Jones is, you know, he's very unorthodox. Um, are the, are you find yourself picking up stuff that he does or is it just sometimes like, man, I don't know if I can do that. Um, a little bit, but then, you know, I kind of resort back to what I do. So everybody does does things different and uh does things well so you know he does a lot of things well that you know it's just you have to have that body type and you know you gotta you gotta be john jones to do it so and speaking of learning ufc fight night 91 your ufc debut i know things that uh, didn't go didn't go your way <laughs> in that one against alex nicholson hey you gotta win some yeah. lose some um what did you sort of take mm-hmm. away the most from that fight as far as uh you know what you learned from the fight uh you know i was uh, a little too comfortable and I learned uh, it's all right just to to be myself, really, and uh, it's all right to be aggressive and uh, go out there just with a little more of an attitude. And so, you know, that's what I'm going to try to do coming into this next fight and just uh, be violent. So that's what's worked in the past. So I want to kind of get back to that. You know, I do pretty good staying calm and all that, but, you know, I want to I be a little more violent. Do you feel like the UFC jitters, do you feel like that played a role at all? You know, some guys have it, some guys don't. How did you feel on fight night? I think it kind of had a reverse effect on me, you know, because, you know, there is a lot of talk about that, and I didn't want that to happen. So I focused a lot um, on staying calm, in which I was able to stay calm, and I was really comfortable and, you know, almost too comfortable. And, uh, you know, he caught me when I was just kind of relaxing and got into a little bit of a sparring mode. And, you know, that's what happens. So, that, uh, again, that's where I'm, I'm saying, you know, I'm going to be a little more, have a little more of an attitude this time. And uh, he's not going to get me in that kind of situation again. Well, let's talk about your opponent here, Josh Stainsbury. How do you sort of see yourself matching up against him? I think it's a pretty good matchup. He's kind of an all-around guy. Uh, you know, I'm going put to put him on his back one way or another. And that's, you know, that's, uh, that's my goal. And uh, I'm going to finish the fight. So. Excellent. I like that. I like the confidence. I can feel it in this interview. It's a, it's good, man. I definitely enjoy it. Um, it, he was on the Ultimate Fighter. Um, did you watch his season? Did you did you watch any tape on him at all? I've watched it a little bit, and uh, you know, it's yeah, it was. I guess it was the the show. I don't know. No, no, fair <laughs> enough. It, I, but... The reason the reason I ask is because a lot of people don't watch the Ultimate Fighter, so I was curious if, if uh, you would happen to catch it at all. I didn't really watch it when he was on there, but you know, I've seen some video on him now and stuff like that. So. Um, yeah. Excellent. Okay. How's the uh, cut to middleweight going? And is it tough uh, this time of year with Thanksgiving right around the corner? Actually, this fight's at two oh five. Oh, is it? Got you. Okay, so you're you're moving back up. Excellent. Okay, good stuff. Um, how's yeah? That, does that make things easier? Not having to worry about the weight cut and all that. It does. Um, you know, after my last fight, I gained some weight, got up to about two thirty. So I've been walking around about two thirty. You know, that's two oh five status to me. So 
Um, so it's actually kind of nice that it's uh, the fight's at 205. I don't have to cut as much weight and keep my muscle and you know, be right where I want to be. Excellent. Um, now, as far as training partners go, you talk a little bit about it there. Who are some of your main training partners helping you get ready for this fight? Um, Ben, Ben Reader, and then uh, Slamanio. Uh, then, yeah, who fights in a World yeah. Series of Fighting. He's also uh, dropped down to 205. He must be a good guy to kind of yeah. emulate for a training partner. Yeah, you know, he's he's still a bigger, he's a thicker guy. Um, but yeah, he's going down to 205, so he's, uh, you know, he gives me a lot of good looks. And, you know, just really I like to switch it up and go with pretty much everyone in the room, so. Excellent. I, I got to get a prediction for this fight. Uh, December 3rd, how do you see this one ending? I'm going to knock him out in the first round. Nice. Knock him out, submit him, whatever I got to do. I'm going to finish him in the first round. And I'm not going to be nice about it. I'm going to, he's going to hurt. He's going to wish he never took this fight, so. You got any plans for Thanksgiving? I know you're going to be away from your family, but are you going to get any turkey in at all? I'm going to get something in. I'm going to have some kind of a meal, you know. Um, even though I'm away from my family, I'm still going to celebrate a little bit, and I think that'll make me feel better, you know. And uh, and I can actually eat eat this year, so uh, since I'm not going to 185, I can eat a little bit. And uh, so, you know, just kind of celebrate a little bit, get some turkey or whatever, wherever I go. I don't know. Excellent. Well, we're looking forward to it. The Ultimate Fighter Season 24 Finale, December 3rd. Devin, always appreciate you taking the time and joining me here on the program. Where can people get a hold of you on uh, social media? And if you got any thank yous or shout outs, the floor is yours. Uh, yeah, on Twitter at Brown Bear Clark. Then uh, Instagram at Brown Bear UFC. Then uh, Facebook, Devin Clark. And then, um, yeah, I'd like to thank everybody back home in South Dakota. Uh, my fiance, Megan, and my, my daughter, Eden. Then my family, my mom, my dad, David, and Patty. And then, um, you know, my trainer back home, uh, Matt Dolan at Forge Strength. He's done a lot with me. And, you know, we've we've come a long ways and just staying strong. Then my gym back home, Next Edge Academy as well. And then everybody that supported me there. 